What's up? Um, one of the things I'm going to do in this video is talk about marriage. Um, was a suggestion sent to me by uh, someone, a nice person who was concerned about um, the quality of their English because they said they weren't a native, excuse me, a native English speaker. Um, so I, I'll just make this a policy right now. Uh, and his English was quite good. Um, Chances are your English is better than you think it is, um, because I don't think you realize how stupid most people are. Uh, but if you if you're not a native English speaker, and you really are concerned about your fluency and how fucked up whatever it is you're sending me is going to be, write it in your native language, especially if it's something one of the European languages that are common. German, French, things that translate easily into English. Write that shit in German or French or Italian or whatever. I don't get a lot of French or Italian, but I've run across a lot of Germans. Um, and I'll translate that shit online. There's a couple of really good online translators. Um, you know, that's only if you really are you, you're, you're really sure. I mean, you've written before and to other people, and it's become quite clear to you that you're typing in English is is subpar, write that shit in your native language. Um, chances are your fluency uh, is better than you think. Um, but it seems that people, um, it's easier for people to write in English than it is for them to type in English. Uh, especially because the way that rules are with, with the spelling of English words is so fucking fu is so fucked up. Um, I don't. I'm not surprised that it's so complicated, and it takes people so long to learn to do that. Um, so just write that in your native language. Don't don't worry about it. Uh, it's not going to irritate me or anything. Um, don't write to me in Chinese or Japanese or anything because that never translates very well. But one of your common European languages. Go for it. <clears throat> uh, and on the top of topic of language, um, I guess I'll just make this a long video. On the topic of language, um, I, I listen to the BBC. This is for my British friends out there. Uh, I listen to the BBC uh, at night, night here, morning where you are um, on NPR. I, I like the BBC. It's got uh, they do a lot of stories about things that happen in Europe that I wouldn't hear normally over here on American television. Um, and British people sound so fucking cool that even even some terrible catastrophe just sounds, just I, it brightens my day to hear people speak with a British accent. Um, but this is, this is something that's weird, and I've always heard it, I've also heard it in, in um, documentaries that are narrated by British people. They'll say, the man was taken to hospital on the way to hospital. Why? Why do you say that? That seems weird to me. Like, I don't know who's right. Um, see, I would say I'm going to the hospital. The man was on the way to the hospital. Because um, it's almost like when you leave out the, it makes hospital seem like an activity um, or an event. Well, more like an activity, you know, because you could say going to church, because church is is almost more like an event or an activity than a place. But you wouldn't say going to shoe store or going to bar. Um, at least I wouldn't think so. So it just seems like when you say that, are you imagining? Are you are you using hospital as an activity, less than a place? I'm not insulting you or anything. I'm not saying that that's wrong. I'm just curious because it just is not how we say it here. Um, you know, the English the English is so fucked up. I, it's it's there's so many different ways of saying the same thing, and especially on the internet where you have people from all over the world, Australians, different all the different British dialects, all the different American dialects. Holy shit, um, you get all this different stuff. You know, um, you know, some things become confusing, like pissed. Um, 
And I will say that the English use, the, the British use of piss makes more sense than the American use, because if you were in the UK, uh, if you were to say, I was pissed, that would mean you were drunk. But here, if I were to say I was pissed, that would mean I was angry. In reality, pissed makes more sense as drunk. So I'm curious as to where that started. Did, did British people start saying pissed as drunk first, or did Americans start saying pissed as angry first? How did that happen? Um, all the weird little things about English. Um, I mean, you're just, most, most of the people on YouTube have fairly um, northern accents if they're from America, like mine. Which, you know, the accents we have around here I find to be the most, like, I don't know, base of all the accents. There's not a lot of weird inflections. Um, you, I mean, there's not a lot of people from Maine doing YouTube videos that I've heard. You listen to those motherfuckers. British people, if you think that, that I speak odd, uh, listen to those fuckers from, from Maine. Holy shit. It's not the right cup. I. Whew. I don't know what the fuck these people are talking about. It doesn't even sound like the same language. It's fucked up. It's way worse than listening to somebody from the Deep South. I mean, doesn't even sound like the same language. So, <clears throat> that was my ramblings on that. Um, and one more uh, funny story before I get into... Uh, one more, I didn't tell a story. Uh, a story before I get into the topic of marriage. <clears throat> um, I was talking to somebody on Facebook, um, and it was somebody from high school. I have a bunch of people from high school on my Facebook that I don't even like. Um, I don't I don't like them. Um, but this this individual is a, a, a pretty hardcore Christian. We got on the topic of uh, of health care and I bring up what I think is a quite a damning argument, really, to these far right wing people, who most of them are hardcore Christians. Is what do you think Jesus? Excuse me, would be in favor of? Do you think Jesus would be in favor of giving free health care to the poor, or do you think Jesus would be against that? And of course, he didn't have an answer. <coughs> but I think that's a really good point, and it, it, it's really disappointing because. You know, the reason that I say that nothing good can come from the Christian religion is because people totally ignore a lot of the main things that Christ says. I, I've read the fucking book, okay? I've read the New Testament several times. Uh, nobody ever believes in atheists when they say that. Well, guess what? I've read it. And I know that most Christians I've encountered have never actually read the book. Um, I've read the fucking book. I've read the Book of Mormon too, Holy Hell. Um, so I know what Christ said, okay? And he really was pretty adamant about greed and wealth, and that wealth and reaching for greed and money is something that is not going to do you well when you go up um, for judgment in front of the Lord. It really That's one of the main things that he seems to be all about, is greed. And people just completely ignore that. Um, it seems so weird for a capitalist country to also claim to be under God and talk about Jesus all the time, when in reality, I don't think Jesus would have been a capitalist. I think Jesus would have been the most hardcore socialist person ever. Um, you know, And they'll say things like, well, Jesus also said that God helps those who help themselves. Yes, that's true. That means you know that you should be working for yourself. But that doesn't cancel out, you should be giving your money to the poor. Um, I mean, he literally says, if you don't give up all your money, and you don't give up all your possessions, uh, that you can't follow him. That's what the man said. And just people completely ignore it. I think that's kind of weird. Um, you know, we, we all know that people pick and choose things uh, that are in the Bible. But, I mean, to do the exact opposite... To commit what really, in the way that, that Christ speaks in the Bible, something that is a sin in His eyes, constantly, uh, is very strange to me, and nobody really answers that question. I think that's odd. Uh, and one more question that I'd have to you that I'd ask, 
Uh, on the off chance, there's a Muslim watching my videos. Yeah, right. Um, as I mentioned, I've read the Bible. I've read the Book of Mormon. I've read parts of the Quran. Okay, but it's really hard to come across a good English translation of the Quran. If anyone knows some place where I can purchase or read online a quality generally agreed upon to be a good translation of the Quran, I would highly appreciate that. Um, even if I have to buy it offline or something. Uh, don't give me skeptics annotated Quran. I've read that. Um, I mean the whole Quran. <clears throat> I can get the shit in Arabic, but I don't I don't speak Arabic. Um, at this point I kind of wish I did, but uh, so if anyone knows of some place where I can acquire a quality translation of the Turan, of the Turan, of the Quran, uh, I would appreciate that. So uh, on to the main topic, which is the issue of marriage, and this is a good topic too because um, you know people have asked me this question justifiably, you know, because I'm so in favor of gay marriage or gay equal rights, whatnot. And like, why are you? so strong, you know, why, why are you so hung up on marriage? It's a religious institution, do you support that? And I, that's a really good question. I, I, you know, I don't really think I explained it all the way. Um, as far as marriage, i.e., um, you know, a priest saying, you know, in, in front of God, proclaiming your love, uh, I think the churches should be able to do whatever they want with that. You know, I'm sure there are a lot of gays who really want that to happen, um, that really want the church to accept that. Frankly, I don't know why. I think that's really, really bizarre. I don't know how any gay person could really actively be a member of a Christian sect. Um, but that's not what I'm fighting for. <clears throat> because I really do think that it's the church's right to marry whomever, whatever they want. <clears throat> or don't want. Um, but the thing is is that gays do not have the same legal rights as heterosexual married couples. Even under these, a lot of these um, you know, civil unions and whatnot, they just don't have the same rights. <clears throat> and that's what I'm all for them getting. Um, I don't think you can force anyone to call it marriage or force a church to marry homosexuals. Um, that's not what I'm in favor of. Yeah, I'm not against it, but I think that it's the church's right to marry whomever they want. <clears throat> but gays should have the same legal rights as married uh, heterosexual couples, including adoption. Um, but that's an argument you're not going to win with these people, um, because the people who are against gay adoption are irredeemably stupid. Um, I mean, you, you'd have to find a way to prove to them without a shadow of a doubt that uh, homosexuality is not a choice. I think the simple question of, you know, I, I think simply saying to someone, you know, you think being gay is a choice? Yeah, hell yeah, I think being gay is a choice. Would you fuck a man in the ass? No, but it's a choice. You seem to be, you're saying that you, you can be equally attracted to men or women. So do you get a hard-on when you see a naked man? Do you get a hard-on when you see a man's dick? I think that that's I think that's the ultimate I don't think you even have to go any further than that. I don't think you even have to isolate a gay gene. I think just simply proving that there's groups of people, there's groups of men who don't get a hard on when they see a dick and groups of men who do and groups of men who don't get a hard on when they see pussy and groups of men who do should be enough of a enough proof at least for me that homosexuals are not pretending or whatever it is that these people think they are. Um but until you can prove to these people somehow to their satisfaction that homosexuality is not a choice, I, th I don't think you're going to win that argument with them. But I, I think the gay should be 100% uh, allowed to adopt. I think anybody should be fucking allowed to adopt as long as they're not like a rapist or something. Um, there's lots of kids that need homes. And they'll be like, well, you know, um, you, it's, it's better for a kid to have you know two parents, a mother and a father. Yeah, probably. Um, but a lot of people aren't getting adopted, man. I think that it would be better for a kid that doesn't have a family to have any family. A mother, a father, two fathers, two mothers, anything. Um, 
than to have nothing. It's not like they're going to take children from heterosexual couples and give them to gays or something. I don't, I don't you know, I don't even know. Um, <clears throat> but I, I would go even further. I, th this is the thing that I have to say, at least about a lot of the legal benefits of being married as, as far as taxes and things like that go. I think that any people, any group of people, two people, three people, whatever, who are pooling their resources, you know, they live in the same house, so if you live with your brother and you both pay for the apartment and you both pay for food and you both pay for electricity um, and shit like that, I think that you should have the same, uh, some of the same legal rights as, as married couples. I really do because that's 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 all that it's about. It's about are you sharing incomes? So I think there should be a new term for that, a new legal definition and system for that. Um, you know, I live with my mother. If I if I were to continue to live with my mother for ten years, oh, Jesus Christ. Um, you know, not that I don't love my mother, but too much. Um, you know, if I were to live with my mother for 10 years and we were to both put money towards the house, both put money towards food or electricity and gas and cable or whatever, um, I think that we should be given the same tax benefits as uh, a married couple because we're sharing uh, resources. If you live with a friend um, and you're both paying for something, I think you should have the same uh, legal rights. Uh, there's lots of problems with the way that marriage works, um, especially with divorces and how you handle that situation. Um, you know, it, it's not as bad now as it used to be, but the the divorce courts—I I don't know what to call it—family law system is extremely biased uh, against men, and men get screwed hardcore. Uh, how the fuck? You know, I mean, how do you make a decision about who gets a house? You know, if if the if even if both people are, are paying an equal amount, how do you make that decision, man? How how do you decide something so big like that? How do you decide who gets the cars or the kids? You know, it gets real fucked up, and some people get screwed. You know, you know, I'm sorry, but if if the woman or the man, if one of the people are not don't you know have as, not making as much money and not paying as much towards something. I don't think they should get as much, man. Um, you know, people, you know, rich people getting divorced and their wives taking, you know, wives that didn't have jobs that were living off their husbands taking million dollar houses and, and you know, alimony and shit. How the fuck are you going to, that's fucked up. Uh, I would say that people need to sign fucking prenups, but that's really neither here nor there. Um, so I would say that marriage in the sense of the church saying, you know, saying with a priest, you know, we are now married or whatever. I don't think that that matters, okay, as far as legalities are concerned, because it doesn't matter. You can get married in a church, but if you don't get a marriage license from the state, you don't have, you're not, you don't have the legal um, rights of a married couple. Um, you can just say you're married. I could marry you. Well, what does it matter? Um, you know, I think honestly, even to even to all the gay people, I know there are some gay people who want this. Honestly, I think it's the church church's right to refuse to marry or to marry whoever they want. Um, but you can probably find a church that will do gay marriages. I know there's some. Um, but as far as is the legal rights um, to heterosexual uh, a heterosexual couple and a homosexual couple should have the same legal rights um, because they're pooling income, uh, creating a stable home, and if they if they are if they have created a stable home, they should be allowed to adopt. Um, and that's just the way that I see it because marriage is really a contract of cooperation between two people. Um, you know, you don't have to have sex to be married. <clears throat> I think a lot of married people would agree. Whoa. Um, so that's what I, I have to say about marriage. So I'll, I'll talk to you folks later.